so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to download and visualize a normalized difference snow index in google earth engine so now let's get started so now let me explain about what is a normalized difference uh, snow index so the landsat 2 collection of normalized difference snow index is a normalized difference between the green spectral band and the short wave infrared band so now let me explain about what is a normalized difference snow index is used to delineate a presence of snow or ice. It is a standardized ratio of difference in reflectance in the band that take an advantage of unique signature and the spectral difference to indicate the snow from the surrounding feature and even the clouds. So here are the few description about the NDSI that is normalized difference snow index. Is a product is a normalized difference between a spectral band green and the short wave infrared band. So uh, NDSI is particularly useful for separating snow from vegetation, soil, lithology in members. So to calculate the normalized difference snow index in Landsat 8 and 9, we're going to use band 3 minus band 6 divided by band 3 plus band 6. So now let me get back to my earth engine. So now to calculate the normalized difference snow index for any study region, first we have to define a, a study area. So for example, you can able to visualize here have created a study area using this particular option called a draw a rectangle so once you click this and draw a rectangle over the region of your choice and uh, make sure that you enter as a variable called point and after that you can proceed further uh, part of this uh, to calculate the normalized difference snow index so next we're going to import our landsat 8 image so to import our landsat 8 image we defined a variable called l8 l8 equals to Double e dot image collection landsat collection eight that is landsat eight collection two tire one so using the specific code we're gonna access our landsat eight image and this specific variable we're gonna import our landsat eight image into our earth engine so next we need to get a least cloud contaminated image so for that we defined uh, a variable called image 2020 double e dot image so l8 dot filter bound point so the point here refers to our study area boundary here. You can able to visualize this uh, red, uh, red color uh, square uh, polygon here so which represents our study area or the region of interest so next we're going to filter with a specific uh, date so we're going to filter with for dot filter date 2023 january 1 2023 december 31st so we're going to sort with the cloud cover so we're going to use for that we're going to select this dot first function so the dot dot first function is used to get a image with the least cloud contaminated image will be the first. So for that we are using the specific function called dot first function. And next to view the details of this particular image, we define the print image 2020 dot to float function. Uh, in order to visualize the property of this particular image, we define this particular called a print image 2020 dot to float function. So again able to view that. So uh, using the specific uh, code here we can able to visualize the details about this uh, image here and next to compute our to compute our normalized difference snow index we defined a variable called variable b3 equals to image dot 2020 dot select sr b3 so make sure that you uh, select this particular band called sr b3 so let me show you the so this is the landsat 8 image we're going to use to uh, to calculate normalized difference snow index so these are the bands so you have to use a specific name called SR, uh, SR, uh, SR dash B1 and SR dash B3, SR dash B6. So you have to use the specific band name here. So for that we define here as SR B3. So we are referring band 3 of Lancet 8 image. And similarly we defined a variable called uh, B6 equals to image dot 2020 dot select SR B6. So here we are referring two bands here. So one is B3 and B6. So these are the two bands we're gonna use to calculate the normalized difference snow index. And next to compute our uh, normalized difference snow index, we defined a variable called NDSI 2020 equals to B3 subtract B6 dot divide B3 add B6. And we're gonna rename as normalized difference snow index. Let me show you the formula. So you can able to see that the band 3 minus band 6 divided by band 3 plus band 6. So we have specified as the formula I have shown you. So next to view this result, uh, we have defined uh, map dot. So to center this particular layer, we define map dot center object image with the zoom level of nine. And we define a variable called 
So to define a visualization parameter, we define this variable called NDSI params equals to we set the minimum value of uh, minus one and to the maximum value of plus one. And these are the color palettes we're going to use for this uh, the NDSI uh, that is normalize the different snow index red, yellow and green. So green are the areas where the snow gets highlighted and uh, red and yellow indicates the non snow areas. So the yellow will be represented uh, that is red and yellow will be represented as a vegetation soil and rocks and the green here will be highlighted the areas where the snow covered and next we have to define a visualization parameter for our uh, landsat true color composite for that we defined a variable called vis param true that is true color composite we defined a bands srb4 srb3 and srb2 with a minimum value of 0 and to the maximum value of 3000 and we set a gamma value of around 1.4 and next to add our uh, NDSMI that is NDSI layer into our earth engine we define map.add layer NDSI normalize difference no index and to uh, define the visualization parameter we define this particular variable NDSI params refers to our visualization variable and output the layer name as NDSI image 2020 and next to uh, define to add our uh, Landsat 8 image of true color composite of this particular area we defined map.add layer image 2020 with params true and output the layer name as uh, Landsat 8 image false. So false uh, which automatically turns off the layer here. So for that we define false. You can also remove this. And next uh, to export this particular uh, normalized difference no index to a Google Drive. We define export.image to drive and image we are referring NDSI 2020.to float function. And uh, description we are going to give NDSI image 2020 polygon so the spatial resolution of this particular image is 30 meter we defined as 30 and the region of interest we defined as a point here so the, we had defined this particular name of this uh, region of interest or the study area as a point and set the maximum pixel value to be 1 is to uh, 10 power 13 so now uh, let's run this code and uh, visualize the result here so we can navigate to this option here called run script and we're going to click run So now here in the image, uh, you can able to visualize, we have three distinct set of colors here. So the yellow and red and green color. So uh, I've already mentioned that the green here indicates the, the area where the snow has covered and uh, the other part of the area such as the red and here, yellow here represents the vegetation, bare soil and uh, rocks. So you can able to confirm this particular result using our uh, the satellite image feature that is available in the earth engine here. So we're going to click this option called so show satellite imagery so now you can able to visualize the, in the background uh, you can able to visualize the snow areas here let me turn off this particular layer called ndsmi image of 2020 so that is normalized different snow index so you can able to visualize from the result here the background the base layer satellite image so the white areas are indicated here or the snow uh, snow covered areas so similarly we are we have uh, calculated by ndsmi image here which represents here you can able to visualize the green portion of this particular areas are indicates the snow covered areas which, which exactly match, matches our base layer base satellite image so you can able to see that so the base layer exactly matches with our uh, NDSMI, NDSI image so all the snow areas are clearly highlighted in green color and now uh, we have seen the result here so now uh, let's uh, let us export this particular image to a drive so for that we're going to navigate to this option here task and in that we're going to click this option called ndsmi image 2020 polygon we're going to click this and now a new uh, window pops up saying uh, initiate image export and we're going to click this option called run here to initiate our image export so the file format is in geotiff file format and we're going to click run And now here the image export has been started here it will take some time here now let me get back to the now console section so you can able to view the property of this particular image here so here you can able to visualize the property of this particular image so there is a metadata about this uh, um, satellite image here you can able so here you can able to visualize the metadata that is uh, for this particular landsat image the cloud cover the cloud cover land collection categories 
and data source elevation and data source pressure. So these are the different metadata, the metadata that is available within this Lancet 8 image. So you can able to go through the entire metadata here. So now let me navigate to the task section here. So it will take some time to, yeah, it is completed the exporting of our NDSMI image to our Google Drive here. So you can able to check this. The phase has been completed. It took around 56 minutes to export to our Google Drive. So you can open, uh, you can check this image in your drive using this option called Open in Drive. And the codes will be given in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and this video I've shown you how to download and visualize the normalized difference snow index in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.